Hello students. As we have seen in the previous sections, what is lift force and drag force and the factor responsible for lift and drag. So now, by understanding all these concepts, we have deduced few formulas. Let us apply those formulas and concepts to solve real life problems on lift and drag. <music> We have a problem which is given to us which is related to one of the examples which we took for lift and drag that is a kite. A kite 0 0.8 by 0 0.8 weighing this is the area which is given to us weighing 0 0.4 kgf that is 3.92 newtons which is uh, given to us. Assume the angle of the of 12 degrees to the horizontal so this kite is somewhat inclined to the horizontal at an angle of 12 degrees that is what is given to us the string attached to the kite makes an angle of 45 degrees so if the kite is inclined so is the string attached to the kite is also inclined that is inclined at the angle of 45 degrees to the horizontal the pull on the string which is controlled by the individual that is 24.52 Newton where with the wind flowing with a velocity or, or with the speed of 30 kilometers per hour so the speed of the wind is also responsible for flying of the kite corresponding to find the corresponding coefficient of drag as well as lift if the density is given to us as 1.25 so this is a density so the velocity is 30 kilometers per hour and next part the pull is given to us that is the force which we will apply on the kite that is given to us as 24.52 kgf the angle made let us consider this as theta 2 the angle made by the kite with the horizontal as theta 1 and this is the area and this is the weight of the kite so all these things are given to us so let us write down in this part so first part which is known to us which is given to us is the area of the kite that is 0 0.8 by 0 0.8 meters so this is 0 0.64 meter square next part which is given is the weight of the kite that is 0 0.4 kgf that is 3.924 newton now this is 0 0.4 into 9.81 so this will give us this answer that is the weight of the kite which will be always in the downward direction next part which is given to us that is the angle made by the kite with the horizontal that is 12 degrees then the angle made by the string is given to us as 45 degrees the force applied by the individual is a 24.525 Newton this is the force and wind velocity u is equals to 30 kilometers per hour so this can be converted 30 into 5 by 18 so we we can convert this um, this will be 5 is this will be 3 zero. so this is 25 by 3 meters per second approximately 8.66 anyways 8.33 not 8.66 so this is what is given to us as well as the density of air is given to us that is 1.25 kg per meter cube so all these things are given to us we have to find we have to find what is a coefficient of drag and coefficient of lift so before starting with the problem let us we have understood all the data which is given in the problem let us draw the diagram for which the problem has given so if we consider this as the horizontal and this as the vertical then the kite will look something like this so this is the kite which is making an angle of theta 1 that is a 12 degrees with the horizontal and the string is somewhat like this the string 
and this string is making an angle of theta 2 that is 45 degrees the force applied by by the individual on the kite is equals to p is equals to 24.525 newton this is the force applied on the kite along with the force there will be some weight of the kite which will be acting downwards so the weight of the kite is 3.924 newtons 3.924 newtons that is the weight of the kite so now we have to calculate what is the drag force and the lift for for to know whether where will be the drag force or lift force we have to first draw the wind velocity wind velocity is in this direction this is approximately 20 by 3 meters per second so if this is the direction of velocity so then the drag force will be applied in this direction this is the drag force perpendicular to that there will be a lift force fl which will be upwards drag force can be in the opposite direction also and the lift force can be in the downward direction also depending upon the depending upon how much force we are applying over here so from this entire diagram we can write down over here that the force of a drag over here will be equals to the will be equals to p cos of cos of 45 that is the component of the force applied by the individual which is along this direction both of these force will be equal along with that the lift force can be given as which is in the upward direction that is p p sin of 45 degrees minus of the weight so the lift force if it is in the upward direction the weight will drag down in the downward direction but since we are pulling in this direction so the component will be upwards so if we calculate these values we will substitute and if we calculate these values the drag force comes out to be as a 17.34 newton whereas the lift force comes out to be so this comes out to be as 13.24 newton so we have calculated what is the drag force as well as the lift force so once we calculate the drag force and lift force coefficient of drag is quite easy to calculate so f d is equals to c d into rho into a into u square by 2 as well as fl is equals to cl into rho into a into u square by 2 so if we substitute the values of rho as 1.1 uh, 1.15 area as 0 0.64 the velocity as 25 by 3 the lift force as 13.24 the drag force as uh, 24 uh, drag force as 17 point not 24 17.34 here also all these terms which we have seen over here then we can get the value of coefficient of drag and coefficient of lift this can be easily calculated so i hope you have understood how to calculate calculate the lift force and drag force for a kite which is inclined at some angle and we have seen these formulas we apply over and over again I hope you have understood how we have calculated the coefficient of drag as well as the coefficient of lift along with that the direction in which the kite we have taken into consideration. Thank you.